My first exposure to Greek mythology was at the Lyceum, not the famed Lycion in Athens, where Aristotle and his pupils strolled around as they discussed philosophy and beauty, but a movie theater on Fulton Road in Cleveland, Ohio, where my brothers and I spent Saturday afternoons. The Lyceum was classic as opposed to classical. Popcorn in red and white striped boxes, a stern lady usher who confiscated the candy we snuck in from outside, buzzers under the seat for a gimmicky thrill. Every week, the Lyceum showed a double feature, usually a horror movie, The Mummy, Godzilla, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, paired with something mildly pornographic and highly educational. At one Saturday matinee, I laid eyes for the first time on the Cyclops. The movie was Ulysses, starring Kirk Douglas as the man of many turnings. In a way, it too was a horror movie, full of monsters and apparitions, a witch who turned men into pigs, sea serpents, Anthony Quinn in a short, tight skirt. Ulysses is the Latinate name for Odysseus, and the one preferred by Hollywood and James Joyce. How Odysseus became Ulysses is impossible to say for sure. Scholars have suggested that the D or delta of Odysseus in Ionian Greek was originally an L or lambda in the Dorian and Aeolic dialects. Delta and lambda are similar in form, a wedge with or without a bar, but to my knowledge, no one has suggested that Odysseus was the ancient equivalent of a typo for Ulysses. The name may have reached Rome independently as Ulixes through Sicily, the traditional home of the Cyclops. In Catania, a city under Mount Etna built largely of polished black lava, souvenir shops sell ceramic figurines of the Cyclops. The Cyclopes, that's the plural, were a race of giants similar to the Titans, clumsy prototypes for human beings. Polyphemus worked on Mount Etna, forging lightning bolts for Zeus. A friend from Catania told me some Sicilians believe that the Cyclops was Mount Etna, which erupted like Polyphemus' eye after Odysseus poked it with a pointed stick, spewing into the sea stones that formed the Faraglioni di Acitrezza, dramatic stacked rocks in the Gulf of Catania. At any rate, one can imagine the story of the Cyclops going out into the world ahead of the epic poem, the way the Cyclops episode in the movie of the Lyceum pre preceded my knowledge of Homer. There is nothing like an old-fashioned Cyclops to get your attention.